the, the site visit to Combs yesterday was awesome. Each classroom had a presenter student that was able to tell us what uh, was going on for the day and what they were doing and we had questions uh, that we could ask the students and we were able to ask the students um, about their data maps, about what they were working on, um, how they're unpacking the standards and the students were uh, able to explain to us what they were doing and uh, showed us their uh, data summary. Well, I was just blown away by how engaged the students were. It really took me by surprise to see that all of the kids that um, we interacted with were well of what they were working on and why they were working on it and a lot of them were doing, were doing many different things at once. So it was just really refreshing to see um, kids engaged in their learning and understanding what it is that they're working on. We had the privilege of going to J.O. Combs High School and immediately we were um, we noticed just how the classroom looked different than traditional classrooms uh, in a traditional setting. Very impressed with how different classrooms were grouped, grouped to scale. Specifically impressed with uh, Coach Miller's language arts classroom, or I believe Spanish classroom, where kids were at all different uh, at all different scales of learning. How kids were cooperating together. How direct instruction was going on from the teacher to the kids who were out of five that got it, who were either helping others or uh, taking advantage of uh, doing some other school work that they had. So it was really neat the way it was laid out. There was uh, mostly independence among the children, uh, whether it was kindergarten classroom, fourth grade classroom. The teachers were working with small groups in most of the classrooms. Other one students had a variety of options uh, to work in. Students were welcoming and very knowledgeable um, and more than happy to show off their, uh, their resources, data journals and whatnot. I was, very, I was very pleased to see the work that you're doing in your district. Um, I really love to see the students being able to guide their own learning with the, um, you know, their learning plans and having that learner agency to self-select what they were what they wanted to learn. I was also super impressed with the kids being able to identify their own learning levels and what they needed to do to advance. That was really impressive to me. So it was really nice to be able to see what it looks like out in the classrooms, uh, to be able to see the standard operating procedures, the codes and the visions and all those types of things, and actually seeing teachers reference those back and forth, uh, the kids being able to know exactly where they were, what they were. Uh, so it's just really nice to see something at scale as well too, and not just pockets of innovation here and pockets of innovation there. I really thought the student choice Boards were really, really good and that the students actually enjoyed them. The rotations at the elementary schools were phenomenal and I think that overall the Modern Teacher Program framework, it just turns out, it looks really, really good within the school. It solidified in my mind what our next steps are when we get back home because you can talk about things so much, you can read about them, you can watch videos, but seeing it in person and in action really solidified those next steps. Digital content has changed the game. Learning doesn't need to take place. Teachers are no longer the sole provider of knowledge. Um, it's, just, it's, it's exciting. It's so exciting to be in education right now to help create this new pathway. Really, and we have to look at the way uh, we're delivering education to our students so that they're successful. And we want to um, take this work is what it's going to be a lot of and make it happen and make it possible for everybody so that all of our students are successful. So the biggest inequality that I see in education is from classroom to classroom. So this process is at scale. It's not just this teacher's a rock star or that teacher's a rock star, but it's making every single teacher a rock star across the entire district. So really trying to harness the great teaching practices in every single classroom, so no matter what teacher the kid has, the kid's gonna get the best education they can possibly have. A word that I heard yesterday was affirmation. Affirmation that we're going in the right direction as we work through the modern teacher framework and uh, start giving kids more choice in their own learning. Uh, that was the big takeaway yesterday is, is the affirmation that we are going down the right path. It's important because it's the future. Students are learning at different paces and different in different places and to be able to get the information that is being presented in a multitude of varieties and 
in different situations, it's going to be paramount for the next generation. This is about the students and each individual student. Every person has human dignity and should be able to be elevated to become the best version of themselves, whatever that is. And that's what this is all about. We have to eliminate our old definitions and our old um, ideas and we have to look at things in a modern modern lens, you know, the way we learn, the way we teach, the way professionals develop, all that has to change. It matters because if we don't, we don't live in a, a place where we're just competing with a kid down the street or, you know, even within your own state. We're in global markets, we're in global societies, we all have to lift each other up. And we're like right on the edge of being able to help like massive groups of people help each other to do incredible things that have never been done. And I really believe that doing things like this, helping kids learn how to guide themselves is really the key to giving them that launch pad just to take us there. So.